assisted with some outstanding table workers in Tim Johnson of Estes Park, Colorado. Amber Hyde and Rod Johnson, both of Indianapolis, Indiana, doing track wrestling. David Levitt, he's on the camera out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Eric Fingerman from Hackettstown, New Jersey, and Rod Fazio from Wayne, New Jersey, assisting with all review situations today. Well, we're underway. It is a quarterfinal round matchup at 125 pounds. Here's the defending national champion in Nathan Tomasello, the sophomore going for the Ohio State Buckeyes out of Parma, Ohio, and junior Dylan Peters out of Denver, Iowa, who prepped at Denver Dupola High School. It is a quarterfinal matchup at a buck and a quarter. Our lead official is J.R. Johnson out of Gum Springs, Virginia. He's assisted by Mr. Jeff Cook out of Phoenix, Arizona. So he wrestled uh, just 45 seconds, no score. There's a nice shot by Tomasello and a quick takedown by the defending national champion. And he's got a lower leg laced on Dylan Peters. And a good job of defending that lower leg lace by Peters. It's a two to nothing Nathan Tomasello lead. And Peters is out for one, it's two to one. Peter's going to uh, turn Tomasello to the out-of-bounds line, back inside the center circle they go. And there's Peters nicely in on a shot on the legs of Tomasello. And the sophomore for Ohio State, the defending champion, trying to ward this off right now as we go down inside a buck 22, and J.R. Johnson calls a quick stalemate back to the center. We're going to go. Another tremendous crowd here inside historic Madison Square Garden. One ten remaining first period. It is a two to one Nathan Tomasello lead. And Peters is gonna stop Tomasello to the out of bounds line in a nice high crotch series by Tomasello. And just like that, it's a four to one advantage for the defending national champion. A lot of pressure on a defending champ, and he did it last year as a redshirt freshman. Now he's a sophomore, he's trying to make it two in a row. He's gonna swindle Peters out of bounds. Four to one the score with 39 cents remaining in the first period. Glad you've come to join us on Watch ESPN. This is the NCAA Division I Wrestling Championships. It is quarterfinal Friday across America and an escape for Peters it's a four to two Nathan Tomasello lead both guys scrapping near the out of boundary waters Tomasello and Peters gonna try to bring it back in bounds as Tomasello circling out is Peters and we go down inside 15 seconds in a four to Nathan Tomasello lead Down inside five seconds, Tomasello with another high crotch series, warded off, and a takedown in the last three seconds of the first period for Nathan Tomasello. One second remaining on the clock in the first period. Six and two, the advantage for the defending champ. So a quick start and a quick stop as the first three minutes are extinguished here in a quarterfinal at 125. Six to two the score for Nathan Tomasello, the kid who prepped out of Cuyahoga Valley Christian High School in Parma, Ohio. So we're underway here in the second, a short sit out attempt by Peters. Grasping from the back side, on the right side of Peters is Tomasello, right in front of us here in the video monitor. Gentlemen, out of bounds they go, a buck 39 left on the clock, six and two remains a score for Nathan Tomasello. So back to a fresh start from the referee's position we go, courtesy of 
J.R. Johnson. Out for one is Dylan Peters. It is now six to three. Peters wrestling on a torn ACL on the right knee. Really is uh, limited his mobility and flexibility, but he's a gritty kid out of Denver to pull a high school. He's weathering the storm. He's in the quarterfinal round, trying to up in the defending national champion. He's going to stalk now Tomasello near the out of bounds line. Tomasello wisely jockeying back inside the center circle. Down inside a minute. And Estelle made call as Peters was in tight, but just couldn't score and maneuver any further. Now it's a tie-up of Tomasello going to separate on Dylan Peters. Six to three as our score, 35 seconds remaining. And Peters with a long extended shot got caught out of position. Here comes Tomasello in another high crack series. And he's going to hoist Peters down for two more. And it's now an eight to three advantage for the defending national champ. So Tomasello performing as well as advertised for the defending champion all over Dylan Peters. Peters out for one, eight to four the score. And that's gonna do it for the second. Tomasello's choice and he will go down. And we're going to have a brief stoppage. We got a little bit of blood in the UNI corner. Do want to let you know that uh, Saturday night, the season long journey comes to an end as the nation's top wrestlers will square off right here in the Madison Square Garden for the right to be called champion. The finals of the NCAA Wrestling Championships tomorrow night at 8 Eastern on ESPN, also live on Watch ESPN. So we're underway to begin the third. Tomasello out for one. It's a nine to four advantage. So Peters with a lot of work to make up if he wants to uh, secure a spot in tonight's semifinals. Terrell with a big fall down on mat number six. So we go down inside the one minute mark. And Peter Stock and Tomasello near the out of bounds line. Thomas Gilman. On the adjacent man with a big victory. Here, Thomas Sello's action has just caused a inactivity call. Guilty party is going to be Dylan Peters. So Peters, once again, just barely touching the leg of Thomas Sello. As we go down inside 35 seconds, Tomasella going to stalk Peters the out of bounds line. Back to the center, we're going to go. Nine to four remains the score. Writing time essentially cannot be erased. Essentially a 10 to four score for Nathan Tomasello. And potentially dangerous. Back to the center, we're going to go. 19 seconds remaining in the third and final stanza here. In a quarterfinal matchup at a bunk and a quarter. Thomas Sella with another shot. Defended well by Peters on the edge. Peters trying to drag him right back in bounds, but not going to have enough time. And with riding time of a minute 26 in his favor, Nathan Tomasello victorious by a final score of 10 to 4. Let's see.
So with the victory, Tomasello will move into the semifinals tonight.